Oh, I thought he got ragdolled off that wall. In video games, I have I have killed a lot of people while using this stairway. Stairwells freak me out. I had a drill instructor though, who was in Fallujah, I think both times. And uh, yeah, he was a very scary guy. Hey, look at that. Through Battalion, First Marines Lima Company. I know some of those dudes. This is pretty good. Looks like almost so realistic, but you can definitely tell it's a video game. Hey, good hold. Nice use of smoke. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Oh, hey, contact left. Call that out. Oh, oh. RPG, yeah, you heard that whoosh of it as it went by. Oh, there he is. You got to stack up there. You got to get your boys up on you. Made it to the house, made it to the house. Good communication. Great communication. Good breach, too. Oh, I love it. This guy is great. Oh, to, careful with peeking that door, dude. There's no HVTs in there. Known bad guys in there. Ooh, good touch. Oh, do you hear his voice in that house? Oh, my God, that's beautiful. It's like the acoustic of the house when he talks. That's new. That's awesome. Man, video games are getting good. I'm excited about it. Right, I kind of right, want right, this right, game now. I'm gonna have to buy it. Did he just double tap those dudes? Nice. They sound, they even sound they're like they're good. coming they're from right a different us. room. That's yeah, awesome. Wow, this shot. game is nuts. These Milsim games are my favorite now. It's very tactical, very slow and smooth, methodical approach to stuff. Okay, good hold. This, oh man, Fallujah had, it. there's just so much stuff going on. I had a drill instructor though, who was in Fallujah, I think both times and, uh, yeah, he was very scary guy. He was like six foot two, 300 pounds of pure muscle. The guy was scary. He was a machine gunner, so. Oh, good contact. He did kind of start firing behind him, like over top of him. And if I was going to be doing that, I'd be putting like up like on him, on his shoulder. So that way, you know, I'm not accidentally flagging him and something go wrong. And <laughs> just almost shot him in the back. Good cover. Smokes would have been perfect right now. Oh, Ouch. oh no, you got to check for wounds. Oh my God, that's way cool. Okay. Oh, and you can help your buddy out too. That's awesome. The devil dogger. I like that. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a Marine for sure. C4, ooh, okay, cool. Clack it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, good breach, good breach. Good use of C4 on that. Uh, but like I was saying, you know, with a four-man team, I probably would be wouldn't be pushing this big of a of a place. I'd have a little more extra guys, like entire entire squad, rather than just a fire team. Oh, good cover on the rear, Tail and Charlie in it. Nice, that was great. Yeah, you take a few steps forward, you turn around, look. Take it. Oh, hey, look at that. That guy's killing it. Uh, normally, after we clear rooms like this, uh, we have duct tape and some sort of sign that that says that hey someone's already been through here this room is clear right uh nighttime stuff we'll be using uh chem lights uh daytime stuff it's normally just you know a piece of tape on a door or a wall or something um, could be an ied that stairwell is scary i don't like that stairwells freak me out it's got it's hard stairwells are so hard to like clear up and clear down with 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 the not the right training right in video games i have i've killed a lot of people while using this stairway this is super realistic to me that the only thing that's really not realistic about this is that there's it's just a fire team pushing through like this big of an area normally you'd have an entire like squad or an entire platoon even to push through you know from here to here and that it's like a leapfrog effect right especially with uh cqb cqc stuff but everything else is is very realistic I like how they're using the uh, that amphig, the track, right there to like push up and oh, yeah, and you can call reinforcements too. That's cool. And refill ammo. That's awesome. Oh, that dude got. Oh, I thought he got ragdolled off that wall. He got bonked. That Marpat uniform that they that they have on. I don't think it was a big thing in 2004. I think they were still using like the old stuff. But the fact that they have woodland uh, flak vests on is just the most accurate thing you've ever seen right because that's like in every picture that we have dealing with fallujah one or two right they all have that the woodland camo 1990s marine corps style as their gear as their kit right 
which is funny to me. I like that. I actually still wear that camo to this day uh, when I'm doing my job. Very comfortable. And it, you can make, they're really good for sniper suits as well. Oh, this guy's holding high. Good, a hey, good, good call. That sniper's probably watching that though. Cool. You hear that F-16 overhead? That's cool. Realistic. That sound is crazy good in the visuals. See, the reason why that AAV, like I know people are like, well, there's a tank right there that has the weaponry to take out that sniper. Uh, but if you don't know, during like the early phase of like Iraq and Afghanistan or what have you, uh, we were able to shoot upon mosques. We weren't able to shoot at mosques sometimes. Some certain ROEs were in effect where we couldn't shoot back at mosques. Uh, however, I don't know if that meant even if you were taking fire from there, you were allowed to. But um, I know that it was it was a thing for a while that we weren't allowed to fire upon mosques. Because if it was me, I just would have took that AAV and just aimed it right at that tower and just dumped it. You'll find this type of communication a lot in uh, mill sim games. Uh, Hell Let Loose, uh, Squad, this game now. Ready or Not is another one that some people play. Oh man, those are scary too. He could just be waiting right for you. Okay, so I wonder what the mission is now. Shut down RPGs, perfect. Okay, good call on the contact. Normally would we give a contact front or some sort of Adirac is what the uh, Marine Corps calls it, but the Army calls it your 3Ds, is the distance direction and uh, description. So he just said contact front, which I get it, we're all facing forward, but like even a range would be nice. Hey, contact front, you know, 50 meters. I would, you know, in this situation, I wouldn't care about a description because we all know what they look like, right? Good movement in the house, right? Like he's, he's checking his corners to the best visibility in a video game. They are taking fire from across the street though. So crack that dude. Where does that RPG come from? That's, there's that tower again. I wonder if they got that sniper. Good suppression. I think he might have got him on the first one. I like this guy. He's smart. So some buildings would have the doors open. So if the doors are open, hey, you're, you're good to go, right? Just push into that door and, uh, you know, do what we were trained to do and train how to clear rooms. However, if there is a door, there's going to have to be a breaching procedure. Normally, like, you're, well, it's your number two or your last guy or whoever you designate uh, per your rules of engage or your TTPs, excuse me. It just depends on who you designate to be that breacher. So if it's the door shut, you'll just say, you know, hey, breacher up, whatever your sign is, and they'll come up and they'll, you know, breach that door. And then how you clear that room is dependent on the first guy in front of you. If he goes right, you go left. And then the number three guy goes right and the number four guy goes, you know, left. And then they, they clear the room and they they dig their their corners and they and they fight that fatal funnel and they do that every time regardless on if it's if there is a breach or no breach uh you and you would typically call that a two like hey open room no breach or door breach and then you would stack up and, and then that's normally how you would push through so they got like hammered down in this house you know they had to clear the house obviously it depends on the mission if the mission is time restraint so you know you're, you're just pushing through pushing through pushing through but you know doing it in a quick and clear and concise manner while still being safe in uh, clearing out the buildings that you need to clear out. But I, I kind of feel like if you lose your momentum a little like this, like they did, they kind of lost their battlefield. So the firefight has really died down. So I think they're just clearing a route or, oh, was that someone, was that a bad guy? I heard a bad guy go reloading. Uh, there's some AKs right there. What I like about this game is it doesn't tell you straight where to go and how to get there, right? It just says, find the building that has this stuff in it and then destroy it. And that was, that's very realistic, right? Like there's no objective or no quest marker for you in real life to know where you're going. It's just like Intel, all you have is Intel. It's like, it could be here, it could, might be somewhere else, right? Clearance by fire. I like that. Yeah, I mean, like if you're taking fire from that spot and you're in a position to do that without getting yourself killed or shot in the face, 100% uh, accuracy by volume, right? Just just putting your M249 saw in there and just dumping. So that was what was scary about Fallujah. It's just they would, they would be barricaded behind these walls and doors and desks and buildings and stuff. And they would just barricade themselves in. The only way to get them out is to go in and get them out. And, uh, a lot of people died for that, but, you know, we, it had to be done. Oh, there's a basement. Spooky. See, if I was going to clear a basement like this in an area with known hostiles, definitely would be using flashbangs. 
or something along those lines to uh, make my breach just a little bit easier and uh, not deathly or deadly. I need people to play it with is the only thing. Well, I think these guys prior military at some point, maybe. It's, it's good to see and good to have a community of, of veterans or active duty military that where you can play video games with them and play these fun games like this because this game looks amazingly fun. He is standing in the middle of the of the street though, off that corner of that building. So definitely frag that building. Definitely prior military because you don't you don't hear a vernacular like that with um, with people that weren't. I'm not saying you're a SWAT. If you don't have to go through a door, which is what everyone thinks people are going to go through, they're probably sitting up waiting for you. But if you can go through a window and get around them, oh yeah, 100%. Hey, there's the RPGs. Good job. Oh, so they just found another weapon cache. Yeah, just blow the whole house. That's a small piece of C4. Whoa, hey, that's that's realistic. That deck cord with the, with the pin, I would move just a little bit faster. So I don't get a freaking concussion. Hey, hey, that's mission success, man. I mean, you lost two dudes in the process, but uh, you gotta go secure the rally point. They they said this game is supposed to be as real realistic as possible, as close to realism as possible. And uh, I think I think they've done a pretty good job. We obviously know it's a video game, right? Uh, you know, actual actual combat is is most likely extremely extremely more different mission success for sure well that was six days in fallujah and if you like these videos from gameology you can find them on facebook and youtube but if you like me you can find me on twitch.tv backslash operating moose or on instagram at moo.snuckle thank you so much for having us have a good day